Hey guys, it's Miss Tart. So in the video before this, I showed you how you can determine the main idea using the house model. And now I'm gonna show you how you could do that yourself. So we're gonna read the Nocturnal Hunter and we're gonna fill out the house graphic organizer. Sitting low in a branch in the moonlight, an owl sees movement in the grass below. He flies down silently and grabs a small field mouse in his talons. The owl carries its prey back to the branch to eat it, or rather swallow it whole. So how does the owl sneak up on the mouse? Owls have special adaptations. Now remember, if we see a number next to a word, then that means it's gonna give us the definition below. So an adaptation, that's a trait that helps animals survive in its environment. That makes them excellent hunters. They have terrific eyesight. Owls can actually see better than most animals in dim light because of its large pupils, that's your eyes. It's also sensitive, it also has sensitive hearing. Owls can find animals in complete darkness using only sounds of prey. Lastly, owls have special feathers that help them muffle or silence the sound of their wings. There is no flapping sounds like you hear with other birds. Owls are birds of prey, which mean they are carnivores. In other words, they must eat other animals to survive. Another term for birds of prey is raptors. Raptors have sharp beaks and talons, sharp claws that make it that it uses to grab its prey. Most owls' diets consist of rodents like mice, rats, shrews, or other voles. Sometimes they might eat frogs, lizards, or even small birds. Owls cannot digest bones, feather, fur, or claws. The juices in the owl's digestive system help break down the meat of the animal. The parts that can't be broken down are squeezed into a harder ball or pellet. An owl splits up the pellet like a cat might spit up a hairball. All birds of prey form pellets. Scientists study them to find out what the raptors in the area have been eating. They carefully pull apart the pellets to find entire skeletons of rodents that owl ate earlier in the day. Farmers are thankful for owls because rodents can destroy their crops. Rodents are pests to farmers. Owls control the rodent population, so farmers will often place nesting boxes near their fields in hopes that owls will stay and hunt. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do to find our main idea is our topic. We always start out with our topic. Remember that's our foundation and the topic is just one or two words to describe what the story is mainly about. So you might think oh the topic could be nocturnal hunters. Well there's lots of different animals that are nocturnal. What is this passage mainly about? And remember I said that topic is usually repeated a lot. So here we see the word owl is repeated multiple times. So that tells us that the topic of this story is definitely owls. Now we have to determine the main idea. According to this passage, what is the most important thing we learn and they want us to know about owls? So if we go back in this story, we see that owls have special adaptations that make them excellent hunter, they're birds of prey. Um, this talks about what they eat. The last paragraph talks about owls being um, uh, good for farmers because they kill the rodents. So all in all, we could determine that the owls, the main thing that the author wants us to know about the owls is that they are helpful Nocturnal hunters with adaptations. All right, guys. So, like we said, that the topic is one or two words that describe what the story is mainly about. In this case, that was owls. We saw owls repeated throughout the story. Then we determined what is the main idea about the topic. What's the most important thing that the author wants us to know about owls according to the passage? Well, we can determine based off the different things that they list is that owls are helpful nocturnal hunters with adaptations. So again, topic is owls. Our main idea always starts with that topic. And so it's owls are helpful nocturnal hunters with adaptations. So that was our second step. Our third step is going to think about, okay, how can we prove that owls are helpful nocturnal hunters with adaptations? So we're going to, again, just be trying to prove this based off of the paragraph, or based off of the story, sorry. So one thing that we can prove is that owls have special adaptations to make them 
excellent hunters. So we might want to think, okay, well, what is one of those adaptations? They have terrific eyesight that help them see better in dim light. So that could prove that they are nocturnal hunters. Owls have special eyesight. to see at night. That definitely proves that they are nocturnal hunters with adaptations. Another way that we can prove that owls are helpful nocturnal hunters is to go back in the passage and we can talk about how they are carnivores. This would prove that they are nocturnal hunters because they are looking for those animals at night. carnivores that hunt at night. And lastly, we can prove that owls are helpful because in that last paragraph it talks about how farmers like them because it keeps rodents away from their crops. Owls help Farmers keep rodents away. All right, guys, so there we go, we're done. We determined that the topic is owls. We then went on to make our main idea statement about our topic, which was owls are helpful nocturnal hunters with adaptations. And then for our sporting detail, we just proved our main idea. They have special eyesight at night, they are carnivores that eat at night, and they help keep rodents away for farmers. So in this lesson, you learned how to use a main idea house to build your main idea topic and supporting details. In the next video, you are going to read a passage, and you're going to fill out your own main idea house. Make sure that you're using um, complete sentences, and that each sentence usually wants to start out with the topic. Thanks, guys.